Hey guys, this is Nathan Graves 989 and welcome back to more Let's Play Splatterhouse. In the last part, well you already know, we went deeper into Dr. West Mansion and in this part we're going to go even deeper, <laughs> deeper. into the abyss. <laughs> Deep. And oh boy, more of these things. <sighs> okay. And also, I'm Zero Master LP joining again. And you're going to be listening to him throughout this whole LP because He's a whore. <laughs> yeah, and Nathan can't do it without me. <laughs> There's a lot of things I need assistance with from other people. Excuse me. It's cool. I like hanging out with you. You're cool. I wish I could say the same thing. <laughs> You're a dick. But anyways, guys, yeah, this is like part five. Are you excited? I'm not. <laughs> And let's see, where do we have to go? There is a closed door, and that only leads to one thing. We gotta go through that door. Kick that motherfucker open. And a blue zombie, I'm assuming that's what I'm calling it, because it looks like a zombie, and it's blue. And we just killed it thanks to our trusty 2x4. And we got the third piece of Jen's picture, and I may have the block black box this one if I do find the final piece and let's see where do we go now ah another door I'm actually using this uh, uh I don't know what you call it like a point of interest view more than more than before you and mean right like, here another gram form point of interest you mean like from Where's the camera? Like, uh, you push a button and it shows you where to go, basically. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I don't like relish. <laughs> what? Dr. West was like, the children consume the flesh with much relish. And I'm just like, I don't like relish. I don't like relish either, actually. I'm really hungry. I didn't have dinner tonight. That's not good, Nathan. Yeah, you're supposed to have at least three meals a day. Actually, it's hard to like eat when I can't even feed when I can't even serve myself or cook. Mm. Still, the whole uh, is it is it because of the whole thing, or is that just general laziness? It's cause the whole thing. Oh, okay. I don't know if and, you want to divulge that, so I'm not saying anything about it. Oh no, it's I have no problem with it. Yeah, what we're talking about. Um, I kind of can't walk, and it's been almost a month since it happened. But I've been going to the doctor, and hopefully, like, there will be some improvement. I hope so too. And since I really can't like get a job or do anything, I'm just gonna be working on these projects. Yeah. And I kind of decided that I'm gonna be doing six parts of Splatterhouse a week, Monday, Monday through Friday and Sunday, and Saturday will be Tokusatsu Corner. That way I'll uh, I'll have updates regularly, unlike before. <laughs> We're having updated. Wait, I didn't update things for like months. Yeah, it's good now that you've got something solid that you want to update uh, on a daily basis, and I like that. I'm glad your guys' podcast is doing didn't fail because, like, I was worried about that when you guys started. I'm like, I've done podcasts like this before and they failed, and I'm just like, I'm glad you guys are something. The podcast is a lot of fun. It whenever you get to do a project that you just where you like do shit that you love it gives you more ambition to work on it I mean recently thanks to Antonio <laughs> I got I got the acting bug again and I really want to start voice acting again yeah I'm glad you got it back you seem seemingly sad lately I don't like it when you're sad I'm always sad <laughs> I have no emotions. <laughs> my life, my life is a spinning emotion. 
you're you're gonna love this when this comes out. Holy crap! Flying bookcase, Batman. <laughs> Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> where is it? Where is the shark repellent bat spray when you need it? I have a feeling while this uh, while we're doing this uh, co commentary, you're gonna start getting your like. LP sayings like I have, like I have, get every banana and I'm but slapping your shit. <laughs> and we got the final piece of Jen's picture, so we have one complete picture of Jen and what do you know? Titties. Mmm, black bars. Black bars. <laughs> that's gonna, that's at least one of your sayings so far. And black boxes. Black boxes. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> Titties and black boxes. Oh. And we reached a checkpoint, and there's a creepy doll in the middle of the room. Hold it right there, a creepy doll. doll. Why? Is it Chucky? It's holy shit, it looked at us! Doll? Is that what you were say? My god, it has mechanical eyes! <laughs> okay, you raggedy Let's see what you And got. all the furniture in the room is like spinning around, and holy, holy organic tentacles, you Batman! You spin me right around with your tentacles. And now it's like a giant behemoth made out of random shit. I am the great mighty said behemoth shit. I gotta and, stop doing quotes. <laughs> and I'm assuming this boss is a throwback to the poltergeist boss in the original Splatterhouse. Oh, is it the room that attacks you? Yeah. Oh, uh, punch the knives. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no knife punching in this game. Knives! Punch them! Oh. Wham! Now... You want some too? Sorry. Oh shit! Done. <laughs> I hate you. So very much. And how can now, you hate me you... when you're on Tunnel? <laughs> <Doo -doo -doo. laughs> now, we just gotta wail on him. Just. Hit him as many times as you can, then run away. Basic strategy, duck and move, duck and move. That's a common strategy for these bosses in this game. Just duck, hit him, duck again, hit him some more. Occasionally fuck up and get kicked. I don't know what's more cheap, that or the circle strategy in Mega Man Legends. <laughs> Actually, I played Mega Man Legends like a little bit. And I actually use the circle strategy. <laughs> Everybody does. I'm like, this is so easy! Why couldn't all the other Mega Man games be like this? <laughs> I love how Samurai was so proud that he beat Mega Man 2. He's like, yeah, I beat Mega Man 2. You beat it on easy mode, didn't you? He's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, Mega Man 2 is the like, first original series Mega Man game I beat. Yeah, see? First First Mega Man beat in general I beat was Mega Man X5, but that was because I used that's but that was because I used the Ultimate Armor cheat. <laughs> yeah, X5 is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm the I'm the Mega Man nerd. If you guys didn't know, he's the uh, he's the Castlevania and uh, Splatterhouse guy. But I like Splatterhouse as well. I just haven't played much of the games. Actually, I might do an LP of a Castlevania game. Weren't you going to do that Game Boy one a while ago? Yeah, I still want to do it, since it was my first one. You might actually, um... We actually, you guys won't know this because we never, we scrapped it, is... Um, he actually did an emulator LP of a Castlevania Game Boy game, but it didn't work out because of computer issues. Um, but now that he has a new computer, you might be able to do it. I'll ha you'll have to somehow get fraps or something to record it, because that's the best way to record, uh old Game Boy games, unless you own it and you want to record it from your capture card. No, oh, I used to own it, but... and... God, if I still had it, I would actually play it with my uh, Super Game Boy. I still have that. Yeah, same here. And quick time event. I just, w I just gotta get my fucking Super Nintendo back from my cousin. I lent it to him like two years ago and he hasn't returned it, the fucker. Yeah, me and my brother each have, well, I have my Retro Duo, and he has the official Super Nintendo, so, sure those, but, um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for that game. And you've got about five minutes left. Okay. And another checkpoint for this portion of the boss. Checkpoint. And now he's going to start launching his stretchy arms at us. Gum gum rocket? Basically. Uh oh, good dodge. Duck and run, Rick. Duck and run. Come on, motherfucker. Oops, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't touch me, motherfucker. <laughs> Get out. Thank you, Terror Mask. Now I have the Terror Mask and Zero Mask telling me to watch the clock. <laughs> now, let's rip this fucker's chest open. And this is the final part of the boss stage, and he's gonna start throwing more furniture at us. Dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge that. Yeah, basically with this boss, just run back and forth, left to right, and you'll dodge all the furniture that he's throwing. Well, that's good. You like? Oh, never mind. I got hit with the last piece. Nope, I got hit with the last two pieces. Now, same strategy as the first part of the fight. Just wail on him. Dug, dug. It's a combination of duck and dodge. Dudge. 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 That's probably what this part's gonna be called, because it, rather than you looking through all the memes I did. Siphon. Here's a blood siphon. Yeah, I really wish I had the splatter smash and the splatter slash. It would make this fight so much easier. Yeah. Spin kick, man. Spin kick. To do more, to do massive damage, just do your heavy, just do a combo of heavy attacks. But the problem is, the heavy attacks are really slow, and they leave you vulnerable to being attacked. Now stop walking, you son of a bitch, and let me kill you. Is this boss almost done? Uh, a quarter of his health is left. Okay, because you got, you're almost at a minute. I think I'm fine with on a video. Alright, well, I can't tell because I can't see your video timer. Oh, I'm not gonna look at it right now because I'm in the middle of fighting this big motherfucker. I'm, I'm watching the fuck out, Terror Mask, shut up! Sorry, two minutes, sorry, not a minute. I'm, I'm an idiot. I can't hear. <laughs> you start yelling back at the Terror Mask, fuck you! Oh shit! Oh, shit. And we turn into Monster Rick! Awesome. And we stopped it, and we ca caught this motherfucker's foot from stepping on us. Okay, now you have a minute. <laughs> Let's do this shit! Yeah, hit him with his own arm. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Climbing up on him, and ripping his chest cavity even more than it already was. Oh, no! Damn it! You die? Yeah. Well, but... you might as well end the part then. Oh, yeah. We're gonna end the part here. So next time on Let's Play Splatterhouse, we're gonna finish off this boss fight. And hopefully I do better. This is Nathan Graves 989 signing off. See you next time, guys.